They look like perfect waves. I could just brush them out. I could do welcome back guys to One Family One Love. My name is Samantha and we are in quarantine right now. My dogs, as soon as I start filming. So I thought I would do a how-to video today because whenever I post stories on Instagram, my hair is done up, which is not very often, but when it is, people ask me, how do you do your hair? So the answer is, I usually use a wand, but uh, before I got the wand, I used to do it with a straightener. And I have a really good straightener, apparently. I got it in Las Vegas from one of those booths that tell you they have the best straighteners. Totally sucker for those boots. And they did my hair and I loved it and so I did it, but I haven't done this in years. And I saw a lot of people doing this now and a lot of how-to fails and stuff like that. So today might be a flop. It's either gonna be a go or a no because one, I have not done this in years. Two, personally, I might be biased, but I find the wand goes way better and it's way faster. So what I'm gonna do, I will time how fast it takes me to do it. I won't have you watch me the whole time, way too long. I find it hard to take the time myself to do it. So imagine making you watch me. No, you don't have that time to waste. So I'm gonna fast forward it for you. But first, what we're gonna do, I'm going to step away a little bit and put some dry shampoo. Just like that, just a little bit. Um, as you guys know, because I have said this many times, or maybe you don't know, if you're new here, please go subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot with the algorithm and just by giving a thumbs up, it lets our videos be shown to other people, which leads to more people watching our videos and us being able to give you guys better content. So if you could do that and it's free, that would be extremely appreciated. And as I was saying, I only wash my hair once or twice a week. I trained my hair to do so. It was very easy for me to do because I used to work in barns. And so that's what I did. I trained my hair to not need to be washed often. So it doesn't get very oily. Um, to give you an example, I actually took a bottle this big of shampoo on vacation for 40 days and it was still half full. So it's actually really great because you save money. You can also buy a better quality shampoo and it's kind of like a a circle, a vicious circle, but it's not vicious, it's better. And what it does is you have, you spend less money on products, so you have money to spend on a good product, and then you buy it in a large format. So it's about $50 for my conditioner and my shampoo, but it lasts me almost a year. So if you think about it, I pay really a lot of money for my shampoo, but I buy it once or twice a year. So in reality, if you're buying like $8 shampoo, but like 10 times, 20 times a year, you're not saving money and your hair looks worse. That's what I do. Again, everybody's different. I'm just giving you guys my tips. I've had almost no postpartum hair loss um, and my hair grows. I've never had troubles with it. So I guess I'm doing something right. And so that's why I wanted to give my tips and tricks. I also don't blow dry it often and I don't style it often. I try to minimize only like when I need it. So I'm gonna give, go ahead and give it a nice brush. Like I said, I have not washed my hair. I think it's been four days. So we're good. I know everybody says to section it, so I will, but I must be honest, I don't usually section my hair when I curl it. I usually just do it on the fly. Yeah, I don't even really know how to section. Okay, so let's try this. I guess right now there's this thing going on over and in. So that's a popular way of doing it right now, as you guys can see. Let's try it again, because it didn't really work that well. I've never done this. So over, over, and in. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my old ways, I think. So the way that I used to do it in high school is you just take it and you turn like that. Huh, okay, let's keep trying. So I used to take it, flip, and pull down. Okay, we got a little curl. We got a little curl. 
I'm gonna do it. We're gonna fast forward and we're gonna see the end results. So here we go. This is my hair. All right guys, so we have the second layer now. I'm doing this side because I'm gonna do this side with the wand and I really wanna compare both, so. I finished this side. It did not take me too long. My review on this. I like it. It's nice. It's not bad. I mean, I like it. I'll brush it out. It's more like wavy. You know what I don't really like? I find you get more heat on your hair. Also, I pulled out some hairs. I feel like I'm damaging my hair a little bit more. I feel... I like uh, keeping my straightener for straightening, which I don't use. I have not used it in about two years. So I don't know if I would take this investment. My hair seems really dry, and like I said, I pulled a lot of my hairs out. It's like an okay, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is one. So if you guys like it, let me know. Now we are currently heating the other iron. So I'm gonna do this side with that iron only, which is a wand. Let me show you guys. I got this one from my hair stylist. My, how do you say that? My, my hair stylist, my hair. Yeah, I got this from my hairstylist, Vasco. So shout out to him, Salon Snob in Montreal. Um, and he actually did my hair with this in his salon. I loved it. And then Evan bought it for me for Christmas. So that was awesome. And honestly, guys, I saved so much time doing this. It takes me about max 10 minutes to do my hair. I don't like taking a lot of time to get ready. Like for this video, I was literally in the PJs. I'm still wearing PJ bottoms and I put on a different top. That's just how I am, no makeup. I didn't even put lip gloss or anything. Like, I'm lazy when it comes to that, I must admit. I could do better. All right, so let's start. It is ready, so it really does not take time. So I don't, I don't section my hair for this at all. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Is it this how I do it? Yeah, like that. So I know some people do it like this. But uh, I find that a little bit intense and I get burnt. So this is how I do it. And I wait a little bit. So I don't get any hair that's pulled. I wait and then I put it in the back, take more. Okay, so let's fast forward this. <laughs> was much faster let me position myself so you could see okay look both sides I have not brushed these out yet what do you guys think a or B I'm gonna brush these out just for the sake of equality on both sides so I mean, come on, look at these curls. Look, they look like perfect waves. I could just brush them out. I could do a ponytail. They look good. It was so fast. These ones, on the other hand, are more frizzy and I don't know, they're messier, but maybe some people like that better. I just find like these ones are much nicer, easier to work with. They look like I tried these, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, let me know down in the comments what you prefer. I know this is kind of like a different video. It's a how-to and kind of a versus video. So I don't know if in the back, in the back. Hold on. What are you doing? So guys, here's the baby. <laughs> little baby update. I'm gonna do a baby update. I'm also gonna do a postpartum body update because I have the time. So I really wanna do those updates. I know you really liked those because everybody has a different postpartum body and everything, but I've been doing some workouts. I've been eating well, so it's really fun to, to see the evolution of that. It's also fun to do these little milestones because I want to go back and see and remember Hendrix's milestones. I want him to be able to see them. So that's coming up next. 
So guys, I hope you liked this video. Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end. It really does wonders to the YouTube algorithm. I love you guys and I will catch you guys next time with a new video.